Son Goku, the Saiyan raised on Earth. Overcoming hardships and training to become stronger, he's no stranger to saving the planet and even the universe from certain doom. However, why is it that Goku faces the trouble that he does? Is it out of instinct to save those who need it? Or is it a selfish desire to face stronger and stronger opponents? Could Goku be considered a hero? Or is he more of a morally gray protagonist? Today, we'll take a closer look at the actions and character of Son Goku, and determine if he should be considered a hero. As I'll be going over Goku, I'll be going through all of the canon material he is in, which includes everything from the beginning of Dragon Ball through to Super, so if you'd like to avoid spoilers, then I'd recommend a click away and come back once you've gotten up to par. Also, if you enjoy the video, don't be afraid to hit like and subscribe for more while you're there. Now then, let's get into it. In order to answer whether or not Goku can be considered a hero, it is important that we understand what a hero is. When one thinks of what a hero is, there are plenty of possibilities that come to mind. Strong in the face of adversity, savior of those in need, and overall altruistic. This is definitely true to what a hero is. However, the archetype of hero is a bit more complex than general good nature and strength. The origin of the term hero comes from the Greek language and generally meant protector or defender. In classic stories, the hero is the warrior who lives and dies in the pursuit of honor. Examples of classic Greek heroes include Achilles and Odysseus, who both fought in the Trojan War. Both were heralded for their amazing strength, receiving aid from the gods. However, these heroes also had their faults, such as Odysseus with his arrogance, and Achilles with pride. In more modern times, the hero has evolved in definition. A more modern understanding of the hero is similar, however the focus is less about bravery in battle, and more focused on the good nature of the hero. The hero is rooted in the veins of comic book action, with focus more on justice and righteousness. The modern hero is a symbol of good, with the best examples being found in characters such as Superman and Luke Skywalker. These characters come from a place of high power and use their abilities to help others in need who cannot do what they can. Examples include Luke facing off against Darth Vader and the Emperor, and Superman fighting colossal opponents such as Doomsday and Zod. The struggles and faults of the modern hero take a backseat, though are still prevalent to a degree. Luke shows his frustrations against Vader during their showdown in Episode 6, and Superman inadvertently creates an arch-nemesis in the form of Lex Luthor. With the two types of hero, they both inspire and motivate the readers of their stories. With the ancient hero, the types of stories the heroes hailed from were meant to inspire the people of the time to go out and achieve glory for themselves. The focus was on the self and how the hero stood above the everyday man with glorious feats of bravery. Meanwhile, with the modern hero, the focus is more on the good deeds performed, inspiring others to be philanthropic, though the values they instill are different. A lot of the same themes can be found between the two as well. The above average ability, knowledge, and courage to stare evil in the face and do whatever it takes to bring it down. Now that the concept of a hero is covered, we must move on to the subject of our discussion. That being the fearless leader of the Z Fighters, Son Goku. Let's do a brief overview of who Goku is and his most prominent moments throughout the tale of Dragon Ball. Son Goku is a member of the Saiyan race a species of humanoid aliens who are considered a warrior race due to their exceptional fighting prowess. In addition to their fighting capability, they're also typically ruthless and cold-hearted. Goku's story begins on Earth, as he was sent there due to his planet being destroyed by Frieza. As a baby, Goku bumped his head, therefore losing the innate sense of cruelty that Saiyans possessed, keeping only the battle-focused nature. As Goku grew up on Earth, he fought many unique opponents such as Oolong, Yamcha, and Tien. During his youth, he trained under his grandpa until his passing, as well as Master Roshi. He partook in many martial arts tournaments, living generally carefree until the first major threat presented itself in the form of Demon King Piccolo. With Piccolo's ascent on Earth, Goku set out to stop him from taking over the planet after witnessing his friend's death. From here, Goku began to garner a reputation as a savior of the planet Earth, saving it once again years later from the likes of Raditz, Nappa, and Vegeta. During the times of peace, Goku managed to start a family as well. He has even traveled to space to topple foes, namely Frieza. Other threats came in the form of Cell, Majin Buu, and eventually Beerus, the god of destruction. The choices Goku makes during some of these encounters mark him as a unique character when looking back at him. Primary examples include Goku's decision to let Vegeta go free after some of his friends were just ruthlessly killed by him and Nappa giving Cell a senzu bean in his fight against his son, Gohan, in order to power him up. 
and later down the line inspiring the literal god of everything to hold a tournament that held the fate of the multiverse. While it may be easy to narrow it down to Goku simply being stupid for the sake of the narrative, or being a bad father and friend, I believe these actions to be much more interesting in telling of who Goku is and how he views the world around him. Goku is a pure-hearted man, always looking for the best he can find in everyone he meets. His main goal in life is to be the best person he can be, and he does what he can to employ his mindset towards others. Goku does not consider complexity such as true good and evil and the gray area within. He views life as a challenge, and one he intends to win. Due to his naive outlook, he has made some hefty mistakes, some of which came back to bite him, such as interfering with timelines with Beerus and Whis, inadvertently creating Goku Black. In spite of these mishaps, Goku has done a lot of good as well, in the form of saving the world time and again, as well as being a good person to those around him. The second chances he gives some people leading to opportunity and room for growth. Now on to the elephant in the room. Is Goku a hero? Should the man who has both saved and endangered the planet he lives on be considered a hero? Or is Goku more of a neutral character who tends to do what favors him? In the words of Akira Toriyama, which are partially to blame for inspiring me to make this video, basically, Son Goku from Dragon Ball doesn't fight for the sake of others, but because he wants to fight against strong guys. So once Dragon Ball got animated, at any rate, I've always been dissatisfied with the righteous hero type portrayal they gave him. I guess I couldn't quite get them to grasp the elements of poison that slip in and out of sight among the shadows. I have seen this quote be used to argue for both sides of the argument, and what I personally gather from this quote is that Toriyama is simply restating the points I've pointed out about Goku previously. Goku is a flawed person. He fights to better himself, and sometimes lets this get the better of him, which has led to consequences. However, this is no different than the heroes of antiquity who would let their bravado push them towards danger, or even lead to their tragic death. Heroes such as Icarus and Prometheus. With all this said, I think it is appropriate to say that Son Goku is a hero. He may not fall in line with the idea of a hero by modern standard, but he is a hero no doubt. Goku inspires readers to do good, the same way he has done to characters in the franchise such as Vegeta, Piccolo, and Hit. Son Goku isn't the type of hero that lives to serve and is good all the time. He has his negative aspects, his poison that seeps through. But that's what makes him all the more compelling, especially as a hero who aims to save the day and does care about his friends. In the end, Goku being a hero matters for those who enjoy the narrative that Dragon Ball tells. By having the protagonist of the series be a naive but ultimately good person, it allows for a lot of interesting stories to be told. At times, Goku may be frustrating, at others, he may be exciting, but at the end of the day, readers love to root for him and see how he manages to save the day. Whether it be through the strength of his determination, the bonds he has formed, or even through the lens of another character being able to achieve victory. Goku is a hero, not just in the literary sense, but in the real world as well. He is a hero to fans across the world who look up to him as a source of inspiration, striving to be a good-hearted person who does their best at all times. Never afraid to stare evil in the face, but also not above giving second chances or having errors of judgment. Once again, thank you to everyone who managed to stay until the end of the video. If you enjoyed what you saw, it'd mean the world to me if you could leave a like and subscribe for more content in the future. Leaving a comment helps me out too. Thank you all so much. Bye.